Hey backers, this is Randall here and we are going to open another big box. Now this box is uh, so big that it's completely off the screen. <laughs> so I can't kind of, you know, get the whole thing in here. Um, but this is, it's not all parts of it, uh, but this is a huge part of the universe book. And so we're literally going to open this thing up and we are going to discover together how cool this book is. Okay, just give me a sec here as I tear open this giant box. Because you're just looking at, <laughs> looking at nothing right now. Okay. So. Oh, gosh, so much. Okay, so we got that. And we got that. There's even more in that box than I thought there was. Okay, so we will take these kind of, so we're having fun here. Just kind of showing off all these different parts. But we are going to slowly start opening these and we will discover together what we're looking at. Okay, so first of all, uh, what do we got here? Okay, let's tear this open. Okay, so this shows you the foil stamping. So this is for the box, okay? Uh, this is what's called a die lines or a template, okay? Uh, and this is just showing, this is actually the outline of the box itself, right? So this is the uh, debossed, red foiled uh, chevron, uh, the shape of the box. And then this is the inside printing of the lid. Uh, it's going to be dead black. And then this is, uh, these lines are gloss um, embossed and so if you look at it quickly you won't even see anything but suddenly you'll see it in a different light and suddenly that image will pop out uh, and that was all Dak coming up with that I think it's gonna look absolutely fantastic and so then this is the bottom of the box and once again that a printing that will appear on the inside of the volume. Okay. So then on to the next. Oh. <clears throat> so there will be a metal print. It's not actually a metal. It's not a piece of metal. But it has metallic inks in the paper and in the printing. So when you open the box, this will be the first thing that you will see with lots of cool shiny in it. Um, and then a really nice high quality um, paper that will be a poster of Warhammer and the Timberwolf for these fantastic blueprints. Okay, so moving on to the next, okay. Uh, so this next thing <clears throat> is what is called um, a build dummy where they are going to put together it's not the same paper that is actually used in the final this is a paper where you're going to look through uh meaning the the menu the uh, publisher so us we're going to look through this thing and we're going to make sure that every single page is correct okay and so you can see that this is uh, all of the sections. I'm going to open it up here. Okay. And you're literally turning the pages. And you can see that it's just the templates of what we have. So then this is the template of the cover of the book. Okay. 
Uh, this is again, this is the limited edition, the, the Presenter Marshall's edition of the book. So this will be um, embossed gold foiled. Uh, actually, I think it might be red to go along with the red of the foiling here. Okay. Um, this is your end sheets. Um, <clears throat> uh, actually, this is this is the second book, isn't it? All right. Oh, oh that is the end sheet. All right. Okay. So then, uh, that is in fact the end sheet. Yep. That's right. That's the end sheet. Um, and then you literally, in fact, I I won't do this on screen. Uh, but then I'm going to go through and literally turn every single page and verify that everything is printing in the right order, right? So it's literally every single page, flip, 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 <laughs> look at everything, make sure it's in the order, did anything paginate incorrectly, anything placed incorrectly, and so on. So that'll be a whole other job that I will do. So I will set that aside over there. Okay, what is the next thing that we have? Oh, I'm <laughs> Brent and I are playing a Axis and Allies World War One game, and uh, over here on the left side that you can't see, and I just dropped it onto those pieces and knocked a whole bunch of them over. But it's the Russians, and that's Brent, so that's totally fine. Okay, so we're going to open up this next one. Let's see what we got here. Sometimes these uh, wrappings are incredibly good in trying to figure out <laughs> which side is the opening and which side isn't. Okay. There we go. So what do we have here? Oh, so literally, again, they show you the mock-up of what it's going to be. This is literally a mock-up of the sticker that will appear on the plastic shrink that wraps the entire mega box on the bottom. So that's how incredibly specific the printer is when they're sending you the material every last jot and tittle is going to be in here okay so then this is the second book okay we've talked about this before this is the Battletech Remembrance this is a book filled with 50 plus authors order artists developers uh, presidents of previous companies uh, on and on and their remembrances about what Battletech has meant to them. So then the same thing, that's gonna be <clears throat> the book. Uh, this one will actually be in uh, orange, unlike the red of the other book to set that apart. Um, there, in fact, you see the, once again, the first end sheet. And yes, absolutely, that is the title page on the remembrance book. And then we roll over into the first one, Jordan's Write-Up, fantastic table of contents with the second edition, actually the second and third edition box set covers. <clears throat> and then over into Mort Wiseman, his father, Ross Babcock, over into William H. Keith Jr. and so on. So it's gonna go on and on and on all the way to the end, okay? Uh, there's Jill Lucas, a president, best boss I've ever had. She was fantastic, Michael Stackpole. So you get this sense. So uh, again, I have to do the same thing. I have to carefully scrutinize every single page as I am going through that. Okay, so what is the next thing we got? I'm gonna pause here and take a drink since I'm getting a little thirsty. Mm, this is going on longer than I thought it would, but there is just a ton of material and I know you guys love seeing this. And frankly, I love sharing it. So, okay, what's the next thing we got? This looks like, yeah, so this then is the actual prints on the paper, okay? So, for example, this is the cover of the standard edition of the book, and this shows you the actual real paper that it will be printed on, right? I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's it's now, it's glossy. Uh, it's got that shine that you love, okay? And then there is, if you can see that, pull that open. Ooh, it almost fits perfectly, okay? 
um, there than you see. So I'm going to be doing, again, I'm going to be doing the same thing. I'm going to look, make sure to see if there's anything out of place. I will verify the price and the UPC codes, stock numbers, everything that's a part of this. Okay. And then this looks like it is every page um, because the, the first one that they built is building it so that you can page through it like they're actual pages. Um, and this one, once again, it's the, the bag's defeating me for a moment. This one then is the actual color printing so that you can actually then see the colors and make sure that the colors came out correctly, okay? And so then the same thing, you're literally turning through every single page. So it's it's literally that other book that we just looked at, but done in a way so you can actually see what the real color pages will look like in the book. So the same thing, I'll be slowly walking through every one of those. Okay. So then let's go over to this. Uh, what is this one? This looks like it is another one of the builds that is just the whole book built. What do we got here? Ah, see, once again, just the absolute emphatic nature of our printer to be as perfectly clear and accurate as possible. So this is literally like the first one. It's it's almost a, it is it is exactly a second build of that first one that we looked at, but this is the standard edition of the book. And so they themselves verify it as two different books. Okay, you can see how this is back to the dull because this is just the build. Uh, and then once again, I'm going to be going through and opening up every single page and verifying that it's all correct. But again, I love that their dedication to that specificity that this is the standard, that is the Persona Marshall book. Gives you a lot of confidence in our printer. We love Regent. Okay, so then we're almost here at the end. This is gonna give us the box, which you guys have seen before. Okay, and this is just the printing specs of the box. Okay, we'll see if this one has the sound module in it. And it does have the sound. Oh, right. You got to pull the tab out. I forgot you got to pull the tab out. <laughs> A little too early in the morning today. Okay, here we go. Oh, every time I'm going to be opening up that a lot, okay? And so this is, without any of the printing, this is just showing the full, complete, final build, okay? And so then we have, looks like we've got one last one here. And what is this one last one? I'm not exactly sure, because I have hit what I would have thought was all the... Oh! Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So then we had in the... We already had the book one full print pages that show you what it will actually look like in the book. And so then this... Oh, my gosh. This is such a titanic book, guys. It is insane what you guys helped us unleash here. Oh. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so now, same thing. This is what it'll actually look like. This is the title page. And so then you turn it over. Credits. Credits. And into the universe. And off we go, right? So the same thing. I will be slowly <laughs> paging through all of this. Uh, I imagine this is probably two more hours uh, of me this morning before um, I'm off to church that I am getting this done. And normally I wouldn't do it today, but I have 
just I'm literally flew in from Fanex <laughs> like seven hours ago, and I've got a board game division meeting that is tomorrow that I'm off to, and then I'm off to Essen. So for those that are over in Essen, I look forward to seeing you guys. Um, I, I look at all this, and I'm once again in awe of what Ray and Aaron and the whole team have put together here. Uh, this is truly going to be a book that isn't just something that every Battletech fan will love. I think it's going to set a new high watermark that the whole industry will be looking at us as this just amazing, amazing book that is this wonderful homage to this 40-year-old property and game that we all love. So thank you for uh, lasting through this video. I think this is one of the longest uh, reveal videos that I've ever done. Uh, hope you had a great time. Enjoy it. Thank you all so much for your amazing support and passion.